So you're getting older and now you've decided to get back in shape and there's all these different training protocols. Which one's best? Should, are you better off pumping some iron, lifting some weights? Or how about some high intensity interval training? Is that the answer? Or how about throwing on some track shoes and just going for a run? Well, watch this video. We'll break down those three training protocols and maybe help you figure out what's the best way to go. Okay, so you're just getting started on your fitness journey, or even if you've been doing this for a while, like most of us, you have a limited amount of time to devote to the activity of getting in shape, staying in shape, of just basic fitness. So there's these three different training protocols, and there's some hybrids of these, but of these three basic ones, is there a better way to train? Is there a better way to invest your limited amount of time? Well, we're gonna kind of break down the benefits of each of these training protocols and then at the end of this I'm going to give you my opinion of what I think is best if any of them and if you have an opinion please put it in the comments below and share this with your friends so let's start off with weight training what is weight training well weight training is using progressive resistance in order to get your muscles to adapt the adaptation you get when you're lifting weights with the progressive resistance is you stress your muscles to the point where you stress them to the point where it's beyond what they're currently capable of and they adapt by coming back a little bit bigger and a little bit stronger. So one of the great benefits of that, especially in aging adults, is that as we age, we ultimately are gonna have sarcopenia, which is the loss of muscle mass. We lose a certain percentage of muscle mass over every decade of life. The best, one of the best ways, in fact, the best way without a doubt to combat that is progressively using progressive resistance with weights in order to build more muscle. And if you're really a new athlete, you haven't trained very much, you have a tremendous amount of potential to build more muscle. So weight training can really improve the amount of muscle, your muscle tone, the way your, the way your body looks. And even if you're a, a well-trained athlete, as you age, you're still gonna lose muscle mass. Training with weights will definitely help combat that muscle loss. So training with weights builds muscle, helps maintain muscle, builds strength, and muscle and strength will help you stave off the ravages of sarcopenia. It also helps you with mobility, helps you in your built in your balance helps you in in and, and it's part of your metabolic furnace that's the other benefit of training with weights when you train with weights you burn some calories while you're training with weights but there's a afterburner effect that goes on for 24 hours or more from training with weights where you continue to burn calories so training with weights builds muscle builds strength helps stave off the ravages of sarcopenia has a has an afterburner effect to burn calories so that helps with body weight body fat and it helps you look better and feel better so now let's talk about steady state cardio number of different ways to do steady state cardio one of them the obvious one is running but there's also aerobics classes spin classes those kinds of things but in general running is an easy way for us to discuss steady state cardio so what happens to your body during a 30 minute or one hour steady state run. Well, you elevate your heart rate, you elevate your breathing rate, and those two activities are both beneficial in that they, they train your heart to, to pump more efficiently, they train your lungs to uptake oxygen more efficiently, they increase your VO2 max, which is your body's ability to uptake oxygen from your blood. Do they train your muscles at all? Well, yes, they do. Uh, running will train the fibers of your, the fibers of muscle in your body that are designed for endurance. They happen to be the smaller fibers and that's why you don't see marathon runners that look like bodybuilders. It's the smaller muscle fibers in your body that get trained when you, when you run. 
So there's a number, number of benefits to lacing up your running shoes and going for a nice run. One of them is you get outdoors, you get some vitamin D and you just get to enjoy nature. But physically the benefits are you do train your fi muscle fibers that are designed for endurance. You increase your VO2 max by, by building up your heart and your lungs and you burn calories during the activity. So if you're trying to lose weight, running will help you with that, with that process. So now let's talk about high intensity interval training. High intensity interval training first started becoming popular back, clear back in the 50s. It was used, it was called sprint training then and it was used to help elite Olympic athletes break through their, their, their training and, and hit a new plateau. High intensity interval training is basically just what it sounds like. It's doing an activity at a high intensity that takes your heart rate up to 80 to even 100% of your capacity for a brief period of time and then dropping down to a, a lower intensity exercise for a period of time and then back to the high intensity. And you, and you alternate back and forth between those those two things. A good example of a high intensity interval workout would be doing burpees for like let's just say doing 10 burpees and then standing up and just walking in place for a minute and then going back to doing burpees again. High intensity interval training is an activity that can incorporate strength training and cardiovascular training at the same time. When you're doing high intensity interval training, you're essentially utilizing muscles that are for explosive movements. And those are the same muscles that you utilize when you're lifting weights. So you're, tra you're training your muscles and at the same time, you're training your cardiovascular system. You're also increasing your VO2 max. So high intensity interval training has a number of benefits. Number one, it, it can increase your strength you will get stronger. Number two, it can increase your, your VO2 max, increase your cardiovascular conditioning. And number three, there's an afterburner effect. You're gonna burn a lot of calories while you're doing it, but you're also gonna have that afterburner effect that you get when you're training with weights. So for the next 24 hours or so after a, a spell of high intensity interval training, you're gonna burn some more calories. So there's a lot of benefits to high intensity interval training and a lot of different ways you can accomplish it. And like all forms of exercise, there's some inherent risks to all three of those, where you, risks of injury. So you have to be aware of what your own limitations are before you embark on any of those workouts. So there's a lot more science involved in all three of those different protocols that we could get into, but I really just wanted to briefly lay out what each of them are and what the what the basic benefits of each of those are. When I look at all three of those exercises, if all three of those exercise protocols, if I had to choose just one, I would have to recommend high intensity interval training. And here's the reasons why. Number one, you're gonna get strong. While running will definitely increase your heart rate and, lung rate and increase your cardiovascular fitness, it's not gonna make you stronger. It's gonna give you some more endurance, but it's not going to increase your muscle mass, which is an important part of taking care of yourself as you grow old. Second thing is you're gonna do a lot more work in a lot less time. So going back to what I said originally, if you have time constraints, if you can't dedicate your whole life to just being fit, you can get a lot more done by doing a high intensity interval workout than you can by running or by just lifting weights. The third thing is, it works your whole body. It does everything. It, it, it does the cardio side of the equation and it does the strength side of the training. So you get a lot more bang for your buck by doing a high intensity interval workout. Another benefit of high intensity interval training is if you play sports or if you wanna play sports, it's gonna get you in better shape for doing whatever your favorite sport is. If you wanna play soccer, you wanna play badminton, you wanna play tennis, whatever it is, the kind of things that you're gonna do playing a sport are a lot more related to what you would do in a high intensity interval training uh, uh, workout than they are to either running or weight training. And last but not least, it's gonna push your personal limits 
to really do a high intensity interval training workout, you you have to it's going to make you a little bit more mentally tough because you have to push yourself past what you're already capable of doing. And when you're doing a high intensity interval workout such as doing burpees, you'll want to quit a lot quicker than than you will if you're just going on a nice leisurely run or than when you're training with weights and taking a break between each set. It's a lot tougher both physically and mentally. So it's going to it's going to push your limits, it's going to it's going to be it's going to be more challenging than either of the other two workouts. So just to sum it all up, if you're if you're getting older and you want to get back in shape or if you just want to make sure you're getting the most out of your workout, I believe high intensity interval training is probably the best answer. But if you're just getting started, you might want to start with maybe some leisurely runs, maybe even a walk to begin with and training with weights at whatever level you're capable of training with weights because the high intensity interval training isn't for the faint of heart. You can really you can really push your limits with this. And at the end of the day, if you're not enjoying what you're doing, it, it, it then you won't stick with it. So most important of all is that you find an exercise protocol that you enjoy that you can continue to do for the rest of your life and and do that. Because if you don't enjoy it, you need to try something else that you do enjoy. So go out there and do some burpees, get yourself in shape. And if you got value out of this, please share it. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.